Hi, and welcome to this video about understanding the resource-specific consent permission for SharePoint Online and Microsoft Graph. In Azure Active Directory, we have an application permission called site.selected that we can configure for Microsoft Graph and SharePoint Online. And when you do that for SharePoint Online, you need to get an access token with a certificate authentication against Azure Active Directory. This permission for application is really useful whenever you want to have a set of permissions restricted to a specific site or set of site collections and not to the whole tenant. Uh, just to make an example, it is something like what you used to do with uh, the Azure Access Control Service when you registered uh, an application in a DIN built with the SharePoint DIN model just uh, with permissions for a specific site collection. Nowadays, with the site.selected permission, you can do the same without relying to Azure ACS, but just relying on Azure Active Directory and Open Authorization. And you don't need anymore to provide the site.fullcontrol.all permission to your Azure Active Directory registered applications in order to be able to have uh, access to a specific set collection with elevated privileges. Whenever you do that, you will require a global administrator or someone with the site.fullcontrol.all or an application with those permissions to grant the selected permission to the target site. Indeed, that's a requirement, otherwise it would be an hack. So, when you use the uh, site.selected permissions, you need to grant those permissions to a specific target site collection, either using a Microsoft Graph endpoint or using PMP PowerShell. Then, you can simply use CISOM or SPO REST and you can consume SharePoint and while consuming SharePoint you can configure this selected permission as read only, write, manage or full control. This is a really powerful capability and let's move to the demo environment to see how to use it in practice. In Azure Active Directory, I registered an application in order to show you how the resource-specific consent works. This application is configured with certificate authentication as well as with client secret. I have configured certificate authentication because, as I already said, from a SharePoint Online point of view, if you want to consume SharePoint Online with application-only token, you need to authenticate using an X509 certificate, while the client secret can be used when you want to rely on Microsoft Graph. In the API permission section for this application, I simply have the site.selected application permission for Graph and the site.selected application permission for SharePoint. And you can find them by clicking on Microsoft Graph application permission and then you search for site and you will find site.selected. And the same applies for SharePoint. So, First of all, how can you create a certificate for certificate authentication? Well, you can rely on the PMP PowerShell commandlet and you can use the new PMP Azure certificate, which allows you to create a certificate, to save the certificate as a PFX with private key and as a .ser with just the public key, and you can specify a password for your certificate. So, by doing that, you will get back a certificate that you can upload from right here. You click on certificate, you upload the public key, so the .ser file, and you are done. And then, of course, you will also have to store in a safe place the private key of your certificate. So, now, let's say that we want to use this application to access a target site collection with a selected permission. So, I don't want to give the permission to see all of the site collection to this application, but I simply want to target a specific site collection or a specific set of site collections. So here I have in SharePoint Online one site collection which is called Site Selected Granted Site and another one which is the Site Selected Not Granted Site. What I'm going to do here in the Graph Explorer is to show you that right now from a uh, permissions point of view, in this target site, 
I will query the permissions and I don't have any specific permission assigned to this set collection. This is the endpoint that you can use in Microsoft Graph to read or assign permissions to an app whenever the app has the size.selected application permission granted. So now I want to use the PMP PowerShell command let's to connect to the site selected granted site and to grant a specific permission to my application. So first of all, I will connect to the target site. Let's do that, run selection. And now I'm connected. If I will do a get PMP Azure ID app site permissions, we can see that right now, as like as it was with Graph Explorer, we don't have any permission, specific permission granted to any application. But by using the grant PMP Azure ID uh, app site permission common let, providing the ID of the application that we have uh, in Azure Active Directory. So this is the application ID that we have right here. And by providing a display name for this permission grant, the target URL of the site and a permission that we want to provide, for example, the write permission, we will be able to grant to that application. So let me run the selection again. We will be able to grant to that application a specific permission. This will be the unique ID of the permission that was granted to my application. And if now I will make one more time a get of the permissions, we can see that now we have one permission. Now, you can also use the set PMP Azure ID app site permission, providing the unique ID of the permission that you want to update and providing the new permission, which can even be full control. So if I will do that, F8 to run the selection, I now granted full control compared with the right permission that I granted initially. Now, my application can only have full control targeting this specific selected site collection. If I will target any other site collection, my application will not have any uh, access permission. Okay, so how can we test it? Well, I have an application based on .NET framework through which we can try to access a target site collection. And right here, this is a console application with dependency injection in place. I have a consume SPO selected site by a graph, which I will try to use targeting a site where I have granted the permission and which I will try targeting a site where I have not granted the permissions to see how the behavior will change. And we do the same with SharePoint online via CSOM instead of graph so that you can also see how it behaves when you use CSOM. So the consume SPO selected site via graph is a really simple method. We can dig into it. So we can see what's inside of it. And we can see that we simply use a client secret credential object to authenticate with Microsoft Graph SDK to get access to the site that we have in target. So we say graph client dot site and we get a site by path and we try to create a new list in the target site. You see, we create a new list object of Microsoft Graph SDK and then we add asynchronously the new list. And of course, if we can successfully add the list, it means that we have proper permissions. If not, it means that we are not granted the permission to work targeting that site. And the same logic, but with CISOM, is in the consumer SPO selected site via CISOM, where we get through the PMP framework library, the authentication manager, and we use the create with certificate method of the authentication manager of PMP framework to get a season client context, providing the X509 certificate to authenticate against Azure AD. And then we see if the current user is an admin or not, just for the sake of it. And then we try to create a new instance of a list still using CISOM, as like as we did with Graph, but now using CISOM, and we execute the query. And again, if it will be successfully created, it means that we have proper permissions. If not, uh, we will get a failure and we will see what the behavior will be. So let me execute this application now that we have the permissions granted to the uh, first side that I showed you. 
So control F5, this is the console application running. As you can see here, I start the application. I start consuming the site selected granted site with selected permission via Microsoft Graph. And I can successfully add a list to the site and we will see the list shortly. Then when we try to do the same with the site selected not granted site, we will get an access denied because the current application does not have access to the site not granted site. And the same applies for Season. So when we try to use Season to create a list, we successfully do that targeting the site where we have got the permissions granted. And we fail and we cannot create the list in the other site and we get an attempt to perform an unauthorized operation. If I will go back to my SharePoint site, we can go to site contents and we can see that right here we have the generated via Microsoft Graph and the generated via Season lists in the site selected with granted permissions. While in the site contents of this site, we don't have any list because we were not able to create such a content. Of course, if you want to later on get rid of the permissions, you can also use the revoke PMP Azure ID app site permissions, providing the permission ID, and you will be able to remove the permission and revoke the grant. This is a really powerful capability because you will be able to target just specific site collection with application only, without the need to have any more the sites.fullcontrol.all permission that we used to use in the past in application only to consume SharePoint Online sites. Here you can see additional links if you want to dig into the topic covered. And like always, thank you for watching this video.